When it comes to shooting product video, Apple are in a league of their own. Using some pretty simple tools and techniques, they're able to turn everyday objects into something desirable. Now we've shot more than a couple of product videos here at Syrup, so we're gonna break down all the techniques you can use to shoot better product video. First up, we're gonna be shooting the hero reveal shot. Now, this is sort of the hallmark of an Apple commercial. Pretty much everyone has one, and it's when the product sort of comes into field as the lighting changes. It builds up some suspense and looks very high-tech and sci-fi. They usually feature a set piece that highlights a new feature of the phone or something like that. So today, we've opted for a fan in our product reveal setup. So there are gonna be three steps to perfecting the shot. First is gonna be setting up the phone and nailing the motion. Second is gonna be getting the lighting dialed in and third is actually gonna be capturing. For motion gear, we've got our C200 on a Genie Linear 2, which is on a Magic Carpet Pro. Now this is gonna give us our backwards movement and give us the reveal. We've then got the phone itself on a Genie 2 pan tilt. Now we're gonna roll from back to forward. So it highlights the grill of the phone to start with and is a little bit obscured, you can't really see what it is and then pulls up into the full reveal. And for the final piece, we've got a Genie Mini 2 sandwiched between the fan blades and the base. And we're gonna get some slow rotation on the fan blade. This is just gonna add a bit of interest and movement to the background. We're using the Genie 2 app to control all of our devices, meaning we can move them all simultaneously and we get super repeatable moves. Now that we've got it all set up, we're going to run through a couple of times and get it all dialed in so the movements are perfect. Now that we've got our motion sorted, it's time to jump into the lighting. Apple commercials have this very distinctive feel, which is sort of sci-fi meets high-tech, and they achieve this through a lot of backlights. It's not actually that complicated, you just need to spend your time dialing in your lights perfectly. Now today we're gonna to be using the Gemini 1x1s from Light Panels. Our color accurate LEDs that when combined with a grid give us some really focused but soft light. We're gonna be running these all through a DMX, which is basically just a multi-channel controller and is useful in studio setups where you have a lot of lights that you need to turn on and off. Now we can pretty much break this down into two light setups because of the movement. So at the beginning, we're going for a dramatic but not revealing all of the product kind of feel. So we're gonna achieve this through three backlights on the product, which just highlight the corners and the edges and the details of it. And then a fourth one that highlights the fan and its movement. When we light this shot, we're keeping the reflections and edges of the product in mind. Our separate backlights allow us to reveal select edges of the product and make them pop. And when we come into our final setup at the end, we're gonna fade in a fill light that reveals the whole of the product and also gives us that classic Apple 45 reflection on the screen. Now we're getting that reflection by shooting one of our lights through a diffusion scrim from Laster Light and then cutting it at 45 with a black piece of card. If you're having trouble finding the exact angle for your lights, the flashlight of a phone is helpful as it's easily movable and lets you experiment quickly. Three, two, one, A. Three, two, one, B. Three, two, one, C. Easy. We're all done with the hero shots. We're gonna jump in and get all the detail shots. Now these show off the particular features of the new phone, things like a new camera, new curved glass or anything like that. And they're shot in the same distinctive style as the hero shot. We're using my phone, so they're gonna be a few little scratches and things we can't remove. Um, but your best friends are gonna be glass cleaner, a microfiber cloth and masking tape for picking up little pieces of dust. Once it's nice and clean, we've mounted it to the Genie 2 pan tilt with a suction cup, and then we've sort of set up the rest of the scene around it. Our lighting is similar to the Hero shot where we're focusing on backlighting and catching edges, and what we've actually done is split up our Genie 2 linear and our pan tilt, and we've put the light panels on top of the linear. The moving back and forth is what's gonna let us draw on one of the lines of light. As the light moves forward, it catches more of the edge of the phone, drawing the viewer's eye to the line and highlighting the form of the phone. Now when shooting things such as portraits, you want a small depth of field to separate the person from the background. But when it comes to products and you're working in macro, you actually need a large depth of field so the whole product is in focus. For this, we're gonna whack our f-stop to about 32 and then crank up all of our lights pretty much as bright as possible. 
The only other thing to remember is when you're shooting a super contrasty image like this, you need to be really mindful of not blowing out your highlights or having too much in darkness, so the histogram is going to be your best friend. We've done our detail shot, we've done our hero shot, now we're getting on to doing our final shot that shows the product in context. For this we're going to focus on three setups, using the phone at a party to play music, at a cafe to pay using Apple Pay, and when you use wireless charging when you go to bed or something like that. Now we're actually going to do a bit of a trick shot and combine all of these three into three sort of mini sets. We've got a big long piece of ply and we've mounted that on two Magic Carpet Pro carriages on a single Magic Carpet Pro track. This is going to mean that we can slide the whole set along underneath a person holding the phone. We're gonna shoot the phone coming in and hand grabbing it on a green screen just so we can accurately control the timing, um, but we're doing it in the same setting so the lighting should be pretty much exactly the same. Now the lighting needs to change between the party scene and the cafe, so we've created a flag using a Genie Mini and a piece of card. This means that we have a lot of control over the timing and it's all synchronized with the scenes moving and the phone coming in. Once we've shot it, we're just going to need to remove the magic arm out in post and time everything up perfectly. So now that we've got our shots, we're going to be cleaning them up in After Effects. We're going to be using the clone tool to remove any scratches or any bits of dust we weren't able to clean off the phone. So we're going to jump in, it works the same as the heal tool in Lightroom or the stamp tool in Photoshop, and just frame by frame we're going to go and paint over all the bits of dust. When we do this, we want to make sure we're picking similar tones and gradients, and I find it easiest to go in a sweeping motion, because then you have a larger clean area to sample from. When we're done with the frame, we're going to shorten the adjustment to one frame long, and then move on to the next frame and keep painting. Once we've done our dust fix, we're going to mask out all of the arms and anything we don't want in the scene. So we're going to use simple animated masks. You can do these in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro or even After Effects. Um, and we're just going to go in and mask around where the arms are. Because we've got a black background, it's nice and easy. If you had a more complex background, you'd need to use a clean plate. Now that we've done this, we're going to select our music, edit, color grade, and we should be good to go. I'm pretty stoked with the final video. Hopefully you learned something that you can use on your next shoot. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below and we will see you guys later.